Hey guys, this is Nikki P uh, bringing you the at home workout of the week this week. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe out there and, and being smart, right? Being proactive and still staying, you know, active as much as you guys can safely, obviously. Um, for the first one today, we're going to go right onto all fours, hands and knees today. We got basically, I think, three or four different movements we're going to do here. So the first one is just that normal abduction. We're just coming just straight out to the side and back down. We're gonna go 10 through each of these. So it'll be 10 out, then just making that nice big circle, 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way. Then we're gonna go into the donkey kick, just squeezing straight back again, and then back in for 10. And then the last one, just coming straight out to the side, right? With this one, you wanna try not to rotate your hips at all, but we're just gonna squeeze straight up and then back down for 10. So try 10 through each way there. Then right in between your first and second set, I'm using a chair, you guys can use your couch or whatever. <clears throat> the pillow is nice just to com comfort the knee a little bit, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the ankle up on the chair, right? Try the knee down on the pillow. And then from there, you wanna think about squeezing your abs, your glutes, you're gonna squeeze, you'll come up over, and then basically right back in, right? So you're gonna go five, getting a little stretch over and then back. And then obviously we're gonna switch sides. So what we'll do is we'll pair those two exercises together you'll go two sets or two rounds of each of those. After you do two sets of each of those, then we'll need that weight bag or that whatever weight you guys have been using for all these workouts. Again, with this one, we're just gonna hold right up in front, just a normal squat. We're gonna squat down, but today what we're gonna do is you'll squat down. You wanna hold for about three to five seconds and then back up. So each rep you're gonna hold. We're gonna go three, basically five second holds right at the bottom, down and back up. Right after you do three five second holds, then we're gonna do a little plyometric or a little jump for you today. So again, just a little jump. You can go two leg like a normal squat jump for five, or you can come right onto your knees and then it's just that knee jump. So remember, you wanna think about using your hips, toes are tucked under, you're gonna explode up, land, and then basically right back down to the knees to reset. So five of either the squat jumps or the knee jumps. The third exercise, I have towels, right? You guys can use furniture sliders or whatever slides pretty well on the hardwood floor for you. We're going right into a push-up position. Think about squeezing your abs. We're just gonna squeeze one knee in and back out and then the other knee in and back out. So 10 aside, basically think of going four to five rounds of that. And again, we'll have you know all the reps and sets down at the bottom for you. That way you guys know what we're doing with it. So 10 aside, you know, three, five second squats, and then five jumps of either variation there. After you finish those today, we're gonna head into a little bit of upper body. First one, I have a chair. You guys can use a couch, a counter, you know, whatever is a good height for you guys. We're gonna go basically hands about shoulder width, step out on it, and then from there, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can always put your feet up on, you know, another chair or that, but it's just a little dip. Right, keeping the elbows in, we're just gonna come down, get a little stretch, and then back up. Aiming for 10 to 15 of those. Then right in between, I'm gonna use the end of a table, right? I suggest if you're gonna use a table, don't use the middle, basically where if you were to pull on it, it might you know break on you. But what we're gonna do is grab the table, right? Our feet are gonna be bent underneath, and then from there, it's like that pull up. We're gonna try to squeeze straight in, hold for a second, and then back out. So again, we're gonna squeeze, hold, and then back out. Again, you can set it up on a table like this, or if you have a broomstick, you can prop it up on two chairs. Basically, just think about trying to be creative with it. And then the third one we're gonna do is just a standing, like that shoulder Y and T raise. So think about pushing our hips back as we drop over, thumbs up, right? We're gonna come straight up for 10, and then think about coming straight out for the T for 10. For that one, guys, you guys can use whatever resistance you can. You know, if you have some shoes, um, some bottles, basically work, not wine bottles, hopefully. Um, but anyways, so try those out. Let us know what you guys think, and hopefully you guys are all staying safe out there.